Hello, my name is Eric Chappell, author of AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013 Essentials, and this is the additional exercise for Chapter 7. In this exercise, we're simply continuing what we already did earlier in the chapter, but this time for the Madison Lane and Logan Court alignments. So the first thing we need to do is create a surface profile using the EG surface. So I'll go to my Home tab, launch the Profile, Create Surface Profile command. I'm going to do Madison Lane first and add EG as my profile. Now normally I would go straight into Draw in Profile View, um, but to complete the steps in the order that they're laid out, I'm going to go ahead and just click OK here. Panorama pops up and lets me know that I've created a profile. And then I'm just going to repeat the command for Logan Court. So I've created the profile, but I haven't shown it yet in the drawing. That's step two. Step two is to create a profile view using the default profile view style and band settings. So I'll go to my profile view portion of the home tab of the ribbon, create profile view. I'll select Madison Lane first using all the defaults here create my profile view right there and then I'll repeat the command for Logan Court again using the defaults the next task that we're asked to do is to create a layout profile that roughly matches the existing ground profile so I'll zoom into my Madison Lane profile view and then I'll go to the home tab of the ribbon and do profile Profile Creation Tools. And that's going to bring up the toolbar once I click the Profile View Grid. And I'm just going to go ahead and accept the defaults here. That brings up my Profile Layout Tools toolbar. I'm going to say Draw Tangents with Curves. And I'm going to snap right to the beginning of the profile. And if you remember, the, the instructions say to try to follow existing ground as closely as possible. So that's what I'm going to do pretty simple profile there, just three or four PVIs. And then the same thing for Logan Court, and Logan Court is so simple, I'm just going to go ahead and do a straight line for Logan Court. Even though I pick tangents with curves, because I'm only picking two points, it's just going to give me a straight line. Now I don't have to snap to the beginning and ending of the surface profile. It's just a good assumption to make that you're tying in at one end or the other, but if you need to be at a specific location, then by all means, you know, you can tie in above or below existing ground. But that satisfies the next requirement, which is again to create a layout profile that roughly matches the existing ground profile. The next task that we're asked to do is to round off the station and elevation values for each PVI. Since we're in the Imperial data set, this is going to be to the nearest 5 feet for stations and the nearest 0.5 feet for elevations. So what I'll do is click on the Madison Lane profile first. And uh, let me back up a few steps. I'm going to click on Madison Lane. I'm going to click Geometry Editor and then Grid View. That brings up my alignment data in Panorama. And now I can see my first station is very close to 3 plus 50, so that sounds good. 3 plus 50. Now I want to round to the nearest 5 feet, so this one's going to be 6 plus 80. And by the way, you can just type in 680, and that works fine. And this one looks like it's going to be 965. Now for the elevations, we want to be to the nearest half a foot. So I'm going to go ahead and do the beginning one even and do that at 193. This one will be 190. This one will be 173, and this one's going to be 180.5. Now, of course, your numbers are going to be different because we're our first attempt at drawing the profile it was kind of freehand by design, so your numbers may come out slightly different. You may even have more or less PVIs than I have. And now we'll go to Logan Court, do the same thing. So um, again, I'll click Geometry Editor, Profile Grid View. 
this one's pretty easy because it's already rounded off for the stations for the elevations this is going to become 174 and this is going to become 175 all right so that satisfies the requirement of having rounded values for stations and elevations the final task is to make sure that the profile meets the criteria of the subdivision design check set so how do we do that well we'll start by going to profile properties we'll go to the design criteria tab and say that we want to use criteria based design we don't want to use a criteria file we do want to use a design check set called subdivision it's that simple we click OK we check to see if there are any violations and we do have one here which is probably going to be a slope violation so I'm going to turn on my tooltips I'm going to turn on my rollover tips so that when I hover over this marker I actually do get some information tangent grade must be between a half percent and five percent I'm gonna say that's a little too steep so let's take this PVI and move it up a little bit turn off my O stop so I can kinda of run freehand here so that took the the warning away I'm gonna do the same thing for Logan Court profile properties design criteria using the subdivision design check set and it looks like we're a little too flat on this one so I'd say we're not steeper than five percent we must be less than half a percent so I'm gonna click this in drag it down a bit of course I can get more refined with my design I could even go into geometry editor and say okay well let me make this exactly half a percent of course that makes my elevations not so round uh, but actually it does in this case 173.5 to 175 gives me half percent and I guess because it's just on the line it's still a little bit unhappy so let's make this 0 0.51 and that makes the shield go away so you get the idea of how we can make our design comply with the design check set so that takes care of the additional exercise for chapter 7.